Hello, I'm out here and I wanted to uh, just explain a little bit about China Blocks. And I don't know all the manufacturers, of course, uh, but Van S, V A N A C E, I believe is how it's pronunciated. And I'll get the spelling right in the write up. Van S Blocks are horrible. Uh, I ordered in 112 of these quad blocks. Had to pay, you know, the freight over. It cost me about five thousand dollars to get them to my house. So of course their price was okay, but then the shipping was pretty expensive. But what I came up with is uh, a bunch of defective blocks. In fact, every one of them were defective, and I had to fight and fight and go back and forth through the Alibaba site, which they were no help at all. Uh, but I had to go back and forth until uh, I had to accept pretty much their terms of they will just I had to punch holes in the ones that were defective and then they paid me back for that Well, that's not really acceptable when you paid all that shipping and then you paid for all the connection pins and everything like that um, All these blocks you see here down here by my lake now um, they're all defective. Um, some of them are really, really bad. So bad that I literally took my finger and pushed it through the side wall. Um, and you can see my finger on the other side. Others uh, were a little bit harder, but just with about two pounds of pressure with a uh, flooding key, it just went right through the wall. Um, I had to go through after they agreed to pay me back for the... Um, 91 block out of 112 they refunded me for that they didn't refund they were going to replace them they want to replace them with blue i got gray i didn't want two different colors out here but that was stupid and then they're like well we will make them it's going to take a long time and then i try to get a refund and uh their idea was well if we we make them and send them to you um, we'll send them to Jacksonville, but you're going to have to pay the $2,000 to get it imported and also back to your house. So I would be out an extra $2,000 just because of their uh, defects and poor products. So yeah, this one here, you can see a patch. And they're all in the same location. All the holes are in the same location. As you can see, they'll still float. It's above the water line. But when you walk on the top of these, they're so thin that some of them are harder than others and then some of them you step on and you're like whoa that's that one's super soft so i don't know if you can see the deflection in the center of the box but they're really soft and very thin if you look through the hole flooding keyhole you can uh, see the other side and then you'll see daylight no daylight corners a lot of daylight where it's real thin and no daylight so I kind of wanted to give an update before I put this whole thing together. I'll still be able to use it. I don't know if it's going to last their 15 years expected time. Uh, the guy told me, oh, you can just seal them, Frank. Use use uh, use silicone and seal them. Well, I put blow foam inside of them. Then I put JB Weld after I sanded all of them down. Put JB Weld clear over it, and then I siliconed it. So hopefully I won't get leaking and water intrusion. But as you can see... The majority of these things have holes in them, and I would just steer clear of uh, these floating dock systems from China. Um, unless they're going to, or you go over and look at their you know, product, and they're going to verify they will pay for shipping and everything in writing. Um, the Alibaba site that I went through, the only thing they were willing to do was just kept come back saying, well... No matter what pictures I send, me putting holes in them like they requested and everything else, they're like, well, we cannot uh, determine the extent of the defects. And we also cannot determine the amount. And I was like, they already agreed that there's 91 defects. Well, you need to send out a third party of our choice. Um, choose one of our three people. It will cost you $500. And if it's shown and they're proven to be defective, then... The manufacturer's re reliable I'm like well okay that's all fine but how are you guys going to reimburse me or are you just going to reimburse me for the block like they are or are you going to reimburse me for the entire shipment because even if one blocks down i cannot build the dock that i 
was designed and uh, sent through to them. I'm missing one block, so the design, the whole design's out. And I can't just get another block because they don't make them here in the U.S. Uh, and they would not answer that question. They just kept coming back saying, well, you need to first get our uh, guy out. So I'm assuming it's a money-making thing for them. And they also seem kind of partial uh, to, uh, to the company instead of uh, me. Because apparently they were talking to the company outside of the uh, dispute chat. And they were not talking to me outside of the dispute chat to get information. You know, I talked to their online website deal and uh their online website uh guy would say when it's in dispute i can't answer any questions for you you have to go through the mediator type deal so hopefully this helps somebody uh do big time research before you buy any blocks from china um this particular vance environmental swayed me away from another guy that of course he said his blocks were best um, but this uh, girl that, you know, spoke really well and highly of their company and stuff. And honestly, I think she was flabbergasted when I sent her pictures of what they were sending out. Um, apparently, they're office workers and they don't really know. They just know what they're told. But um, it's it's a kind of a tough situation. I mean, I did get refunded pretty much half of what it cost me to get this dock here. But then again, it is uh, pretty laborious and, you know, what I'm going to have to do to set it in the water, not knowing if it's going to last more than one or two years. It's kind of kind of a sad thing. But other than that, what am I going to do with all these blocks? <laughs> so, all right, guys. I don't know about the American versions, but uh, these are pretty sad. And the American versions are very expensive. Might as well have a wood dog built. <laughs> Bye.